Alright, hello and welcome to Let's Play Yet Another No Name Mame Game. Today's No Name Mame Game is Street Fighter the Movie the Game. Not to be confused with Street Fighter the Game the Movie. I mean, Street Fighter the Game the Game. So, does this game have any sort of intro sequence? It might. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's play <laughs> the game. I, I hope you're enjoying that coin entry sound, because the game only gets better from here on out. That's right, with such recognizable faces as Ryu, Vega, Ga, Scott, Kid, Sawada, Kami, Chun-Li, Honda, Balrog, Nate, Bison, Kuma, Zanky. Let's use Gao. Gao, this is Kami. Gao, Kami. And... I will say, for me, completely horrendous CG graphics. Actually, it's smoothing. It's pretty smooth. The gameplay. Yeah, that is. Not Gammy's body. <laughs> Jokes away. So I'm having fun with the uh, Street Fighter 6 level layout. Come on, come on! Oh, Cammy, win! I don't remember Cammy's explosive move from uh, Fight. the games. Oh yeah, how do you like this? I'll I'll quarter smash. I'll go double kick. Kick kick kick. One punch. I don't know. Guile is. Oh, does he? Oh, he does have the random build. I mean, Guile is a charge character, but if you do forward and then light or medium kick, then he does less like jumping at the guy. And it's like I always loved it because it's like Guile's one actiony move. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of charge characters, but Guile is still my favorite Street Fighter. Probably something about his color scheme. Fist face. Kick. kick in your face. Double lower kick. Guile, win. Guile, win. Yeah! I don't know. <laughs> Guile so, versus Guile. Oh my god, I was playing in the sound. It was always Guile versus Guile. Come on. So, I'm sure you've been paying attention to the games and, uh, you've been seeing how this game takes numerous liberties with the Street Fighter franchise, both the game and the movie. Whoa, did you see that? He's just got this special move. It's, it doesn't even exist. Wait, does he have some sort of forward charge kick or something? I don't know. That being said, the AI isn't quite as punishingly difficult as it was in Street Fighter. You remember Street Fighter would like kick your ass on the first player even? And you'd be like, why am I playing this? It's insane. Oh nice. He can chain into like a lower upper kick after his thing. Actually, what the heck? This game just got like way easier once I started spamming low kicks and all that. This is not as hard as Street Fighter at all. And for that, I'm very thankful. Again, it's Street Fighter hardest balls. Oh, I get it. It's trying to lure me in because it feels a little sorry for me. Never mind. Remember when I was saying this game wasn't as hard as Street Fighter? I was lying. It was hiding its difficulty. So, is it as bad as everyone says? Well, aside from that, let's choose Sawada. He's my favorite Street Fighter. Sawada Look at him. Actually, it's kind of funny. If you look at this guy, that's like what you should have been. What? Yeah. Did he just slap that guy with a sword? Forget this, Sawada really is my favorite Street Fighter. Do the sword one again. Come on. This game. I don't know. I mean, if you're willing to like completely distance it from the Street Fighter series and take it on its own as like an entirely different entry, then it's possible. It's a possible game. I mean, I wouldn't question the artistic choice of using CG graphics just because it's gonna look dated in 20 years, no matter what you say. But um. I mean, that being said, even though it is CG graphics, they're smooth, and they're only mild. I like to think of them as weird sprites rather than actual bad CG. Um, I will say, this is like the most animated I've ever seen in the crowd. The 
fighting game. Or okay, the fighting game I've played. I have seen like, three oh, of King of Fighters. 12, 11? Something like that. Where, um... <laughs> they... The background, background goes crazy when you win. Round one, fight! crazy. So let's see. Lay this broken out. Oh, dude, that one is green. Alright, let's see. A lot of my Street Fighter moves. with the same fire. You gotta take a little bite victory because I'm gonna lose it. Round two, fight! I'm gonna say this. It does seem to be a fairly passable fighting game, and now I haven't looked into the balance or any sort of backstory or anything, or like why this game is made, but it seems like it could work. I mean, if you were like, win! I don't know. I don't know ever why. Well, because the whole point about a fighting game is that you like devote endless amounts of time to mastering it and getting better and like doing what you can. And I don't know why you'd waste it on a game like this. Short lead versus guy. If you really wanted to, maybe it would work out. Oh wow, dungeon stage. And of course, I think it's just supposed to be Chun Li stage. That's her spinning bird kick. They got it completely wrong. That's like Dio's um, down B. It's like a rainbow red kick in 94 95. Or um, King's quarter circle. No, half circle back kick. Where she like just five in the air. What's this wrong? Round two, five! What, what about her? Shoken! Shoken! It's a dragon. Never mind. This game is not worth it at all. I don't know, I just, I just love all the random liberties they took with the Street Fighter characters. It's like, dude, you could have played it straight and still made an okay movie. But you decided to just do this crazy stuff. It's like, why would you do that? It feels unnecessary. Whatever. Wow, and I almost beat the guy. That's about as close as I'll say. Actually, I guess... <laughs> now is as good time as any to um, talk about why I dislike the Street Fighter. Oh, right. yeah. 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 The Street Fighter right. control side. So Street Fighter, as you may be aware, uses six six buttons. And the thing I don't like about six buttons is you've got like what four fingers on hand, five maybe if you're cherry one. And that's you can't really have your fingers on all the buttons at the same time. King of Fighters only uses four buttons, so it's pretty easy to always have your fingers on the, all the buttons you need at the right time. And I like that, because then you just need to think, it's like, okay, I'll kick, I'll use this finger, rather than Street Fighter, which is like, oh, you want a kick? Which do you want, light, medium, hard? And then you just have to remember where the buttons are. I don't know. It, just seems like an extra bit of stuff. But then again, Street Fighter was all about like memorizing crazy combos, and so having like three different kind of kicks and punches kind of really helps that. I don't know, I'm not really like a combo guy, I'm more of like a opportune comeback game. Comeback time. Oh, up and down for the name of the tree. These people are fairly unorthodox. Game over! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, it's nice to know that Cat B. Jan. Life like violence, mild. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say life like violence, intense. Because there is a lot of life like violence in this game. In fact, it's entirely life like violence. I don't think there's any point in time that you see people in this game that aren't either in life like violence or eluding the life like violence. So is it a good game? No. But is it as bad a game as it's always been made out to be? Not really, no. It's it's a passable game. I think the biggest problem is that it's like it has these um ties to the Street Fighter series. And it's like the Street Fighter, it's a pretty big series, and it's got a lot to live up to, which sadly doesn't live up to it at all, but what the heck, right?
I mean, it probably would be more for novelty than anything, just to, like, walk into your local arcade and see Street Fighter, the game, the movie, the game. Well, that's about all I can say, although I do wonder why... If that's Chun-Li's stage, why is Chun-Li in the background? I guess they just alternate people out in the dungeon, which is even freakier now that I think about it. So, on that note, this cat's got a scat.